Welcome to the world of beers. Today we are embarking on a fascinating journey through the history and evolution of one of the most beloved beer styles, the stout. From its humble beginnings to the rich and diverse variations we see today, let's unravel the story behind this dark and delightful brew. So grab your favorite stout and let's get started. The word stout originally meant proud and brave in the 14th century, but later evolved to mean strong. The term stout porter was used to describe a strong, dark beer. The earliest recorded use of the word stout in describing beer was in 1677. But what led to the creation of this style? Let's dive into its origins. The story of stout is deeply intertwined with the Industrial Revolution in Britain. As farmers moved into towns and cities, a huge group of thirsty workers emerged. To meet the demands, breweries grew larger. They turned to cheap brown malts and made a variety of brown ales. However, the invention of critical brewing tools like the thermometer and hydrometer changed the game. With the hydrometer, brewers discovered that brown malt was mediocre in terms of sugar yield. They began experimenting with pale malt and caramelized sugars. The manufacturers of brown malts then produced a deep chocolate, almost black malt, which had a much better sugar yield. Brewers switched back to these malts but kept the high hop levels, and thus porters and stouts were born. Now let's talk about the Russian connection. Stout was highly revered in Russia, and it was said that even the Russian royal family loved it. The term Russian stout was used to describe the stronger version of stout that was brewed for the Russian market. It was believed that the strong alcohol content prevented the beer from freezing during its journey to Russia. Stouts have continued to evolve since the Industrial Revolution. Today, we have distinct stout substyles. Let's explore five of the most popular ones. First up is the dry or Irish stout. This traditional dry stout came from attempts to dodge the malt tax bill in the 18th century in London. Unmalted barley was not taxed the same as malted barley, so brewers began using more of it. This raw, unmalted barley lends a sharp coffee bitterness with a creamy mouthfeel. Next is the sweeter milk stout. It was said to be a drink for invalids, but has been revived by craft brewers. It is made even sweeter through the addition of lactose sugar. The oatmeal stout includes the addition of malted oats, lending a soft, creamy mouthfeel and a distinct nutty flavor. It was once considered nutritious, and many drank it as part of a healthy diet. The foreign or extra stout is a stronger version of the dry stout, with a higher alcohol content. It has a rich, malty profile with a pronounced hop bitterness. And now the Imperial Stout. This is a strong, dark beer with a high alcohol content. It's often characterized by its rich, complex flavors, including chocolate, coffee, and dark fruits. The term Imperial is believed to be associated with the Russian Imperial Court. The beer was brewed to be strong and robust to endure the long journey to Russia and was favored by the Russian Imperial Court. Today, craft brewers are pushing the boundaries of what a stout can be. From barrel aging to adding unique ingredients like chili, vanilla, and even oysters, the possibilities are endless. No discussion of stout would be complete without mentioning Guinness. Guinness is one of the most iconic stout brands in the world. It was one of the first beers that many people associated with the stout style. Guinness has played a significant role in popularizing stout globally. The craft beer movement has breathed new life into the stout style. Craft brewers are experimenting with different ingredients, brewing techniques, and barrel aging processes to create unique and innovative stouts. Another interesting aspect of modern stouts is the use of nitrogen, or nitro. Nitro creates smaller bubbles than carbon dioxide, giving the beer a creamy texture. Guinness is famous for its use of nitro, and many craft brewers are now using nitro in their stouts. Stouts are not just for drinking, they are also fantastic for pairing with food. The rich flavors of a stout can complement and enhance a variety of dishes, from hearty stews to decadent desserts. For the home brewers out there, brewing a stout can be a rewarding experience. The key is to use high-quality malts and experiment with different combinations of ingredients to achieve the desired flavor profile. Now let's talk about the cultural impact of stout. Stout has become more than just a beer. It's a symbol of identity, especially in Ireland where Guinness has become a national icon. The cultural significance of stout is evident in the way it is celebrated through festivals, events, and even in literature and art. 
Stout has transcended borders. From its roots in Europe, it has spread across the globe. Craft breweries in the United States, Canada, Australia, and even in Asia have embraced the stout style, creating their own interpretations and variations. There's also an interesting science behind stout. The roasted barley used in brewing stout is rich in antioxidants, and some studies suggest that moderate consumption of stout can be beneficial to heart health. Moreover, the creamy head of a nitro stout is a fascinating interplay of nitrogen and carbon dioxide gases. Tasting stout is an art. When you taste a stout, pay attention to the aroma. Do you smell coffee, chocolate, or caramel? Take a sip and let it roll over your tongue. Notice the texture. Is it creamy, velvety, or dry? Finally, savor the aftertaste. Does it leave a bitter or sweet note? Stout is also a fantastic ingredient in cooking. Its rich flavors can enhance sauces, marinades, and desserts. Have you tried stout brownies or a stout-infused gravy? If not, you're missing out. As we look to the future, stout is poised for even more innovation. With the craft beer movement showing no signs of slowing down, we can expect to see even more creative and exciting variations of stout. Barrel aging, unique ingredients, and new brewing techniques will continue to push the boundaries of what stout can be. Lastly, let's talk about the community that stout has built. From homebrew clubs to craft beer forums, stout has brought people together. Sharing a pint of stout with friends, discussing its flavors, and brewing it at home are experiences that build bonds and create memories. As we wrap up our journey through the world of stouts, it's clear that this style has a rich history and an exciting future. From the Industrial Revolution to the craft beer movement, stouts have evolved and continue to capture the hearts of beer enthusiasts around the world. So, the next time you sip on a delicious stout, take a moment to appreciate the history, craftsmanship, and innovation that went into creating this remarkable beer. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the history and evolution of stout beers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more beer adventures. Cheers!